Hello there, and thanks for joining me at my tying bench once again. And uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to tie up a little caddis fly pattern for you. This is a little egg laying caddis pattern that I tie. And I have a lot of luck with it when you see the caddis out in the boat and they're just dancing on the water, depositing their eggs. I tie this guy on. I've had quite a bit of luck on him when I'm in that situation. So I figured you might like to see this little guy tied up. So, And I'm going to show you a little different technique for tying a caddis. You may have seen it before. I'm not sure, but I'll show you anyhow. So I'll get this guy out, a fresh hook in, and get started. Okay, the hook is a 94840 must have standard dry, and I'm tying them on a 14 here. So, we'll get him locked down in the vise. And for thread, I'm using Danville 6 aught and a brown. So, first thing, I'm going to start my thread right behind the eye here and just get a thread base back to about above the burb. And we'll snip that out of there. Come back a little bit farther. Now the first thing I'm going to tie in is the egg sac, so I'm going to put a little wax on the thread. And for the egg sac I'm using some uh, super fine yellow dubbing there, so I'm just going to get a touch of that. You don't need much, just a sparse amount for the egg sac. Just a little, making a little round ball more or less at the rear here. So get that going. Just like so. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, there's our egg sack. Now, for the body, I'm using some, uh, it's a tan caddis, so I'm using some tan colored uh, rabbit dub. So, some more wax on the thread once again. And as you notice, I'm not tying in any uh, wire rib. And I'll show you here in a bit how we're going to do this guy. And I'm just going to dub a nice skinny noodle on here for the body. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. We'll begin to dub this guy on here. Start back in front of the egg sac and then wrap forward. Just like so here. And I'll come back and then forward once again. And I'll stop my thread right there. Okay, now. What we'll do next is take my hackle and I have a grizzly saddle hackle here, sized up for a 14. And I'm going to tie that on the uh, your side of the hook, which would be the far side for me. And I'm going to tie it with the uh, dull side against the uh, body there. Once I get it the way I want it, I'll secure that in. Okay. Alrighty, I'll wrap that in nice and tight. And snip that off. Alright, and as you can see, my thread is still here. So what I'll do next is take that hackle and we're going to palmer that back. Okay, like you normally would any caddis. We're just going to make evenly spaced wraps. Just like so, till we get right in front of the uh, egg sac here. Okay, then you're just going to hold that tip, and what I'm going to do is you'll take your tying thread, and we're just going to wrap back through till we get to that hackle tip. And once I do, I'm going to take a couple, two to three tight wraps to secure that. Then you want to wrap your thread back towards the eye, and just wiggle it as you go so you won't trap down any fibers. And that's just one method that you can tie this, and it makes that nice and durable because your thread is going through trapping down all the uh, hackles as you go and the hackle tip and then when you wrap forward it gets secured once again so it makes it nice and durable tip, cut off that hackle tip there so there we go and you still have a nice nice hackle there for the caddis 
That's just another method of uh, attaching the hackle without using the wire for the rib, and it makes it pretty uh, pretty bulletproof, nice and nice and durable. Okay, our next step is the wing, and I have a little bit of uh, tan elk hair in this stacker here. Just going to even that up. Okay, make sure my tips are all even here. Alrighty. Now we'll just line that up on top. Then we're going to come down around with a couple wraps here. Make two or three wraps and then we'll cinch that down. Now a lot of times you'll see people will just wrap around right here and tie it off and whip finish. But what I like to do on my caddis is I'll take some of the hair in sections and I'll come up. Wrap through like so. Then I'll grab another section. Wrap it through. And I'll grab one more. I'm making a wrap. And then one more. And then I'll wrap right off in front of that. And that's where I'll do my whip finish. Right there. And that makes that much more durable that way. So it doesn't come apart. So then I'll just bring in my whip finisher. At this point here and do a whip finish. Get four or five turns on there. Okay, snug it down nice and tight. Come in and snip that out. Okay, now what I'll do is grab all these butt ends here. Grab and hold all these. Okay. Got one more in there, just gotta get a hold of him. Alrighty. Okay, I'm just having a little trouble getting on there. We go. Okay, now let's grab those all together and come up on an angle and cut. And there we have it. Another size. 14 egg laying caddis and it's quite a different method of uh, tying a caddis but it makes it nice nice and durable that's for sure that's the reason I like tying them this way so now one last step which I like to do I got one hair here I want to clip out first it's just bugging me I get a hold of them here Okay. There we go. Alrighty, so as you can see, the uh, little egg sack in the back shows up really nice. So, what I'll do is turn it upside down here, and I'm going to take a little bit of. You can use hid cement if you don't have solar res bone dry, but I'm just going to take a little of the resin here and put on those thread wraps underneath. And right in between the or thread wraps between the wing and the head there. Okie dokie. Alrighty, so then I'll just bring in the light and cure this resin up real quick. Okay. So there we have it simple but durable way to tie your caddis patterns and you can also use that particular method with tying down the hackle for example using a woolly buggers or any palmer hackle if you don't want to use wire and it's still a, just as durable and it's a quicker and easier way to tie it for sure so anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, you can uh, give this guy a tie and uh, try that method and see how you like tying them that way and I think you'll find that they'll be much more durable and stay together a lot longer for you so thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet and this is your first time viewing my videos hit that good old subscribe button I'd really appreciate that a great deal and until next time everyone happy tying out there I'll see you all again soon and so long for now folks
and stay safe out there.